Is that an actual question? Uh, is that an actual question? Is this actually the question? <laughs> Straightforward. Okay. Um. What is a woman? Oh, wow. Uh, a woman is a god. A woman is everything. A woman is a mystery. That's a magical creature uh, who does it all and knows it all. Was created for a reason. What is a woman? Um, what is a man? Every time I'm at an event, especially within either the production or tech industry, I always recognize when it's male dominated. And I will always point it out to the organizers. Marketing, not so much, but the media production side is dudes. I rarely see women shooting, like in the places I shoot, at least. Well, it's always interesting when, for example, when I do a gig at a nightclub or something, all the videographers or photographers are, are male. And I'm the only female. It was always kind of marketed that males get to do the cool jobs. And this, I'm in an industry doing what I've always loved to do. So if it's considered a male-focused um, industry, then I feel comfortable. I didn't recognize that I work in a male-focused industry. I think I'm surrounded by a lot of women in Holland Park, Maine, that's why. I do see that females show a bit more care towards a lot of small elements, like putting the cables away and all that stuff. You don't need to ask them again. I think a lot of people are surprised as well. I love it. I get to be different and uh, there are lots of people who are not like me and uh, I can learn about them and see what they do, what they can change about what I do. HPM has mostly women in the company because we've hired the best people. I mean, that's amazing, no? It's always nice to be surrounded by a woman. I learned that there can't be a business without a woman. Like, there just can't be, because women fill a very specific role within a business, kind of like how a mother fits her role in her family. So every business needs a woman. I have the ability to do what I like and what I love and get paid for it and not underpaid as with most creative industries. Um, I would like to believe that my bosses, Charles and Ali, do not take advantage of us um, because they don't. <laughs> Being there from the start, it's always felt like a group of friends were lucky enough to come to work together, make it playful, have a good time. I've made a point of making sure that everyone knows that their voice is valuable and I hope that is something that leaders across all industries, across all companies, make a point of not only building an equal opportunity place, but building equity into their company so that all the women have a chance to grow and to contribute everything that they can. In the end of the day, regardless of the gender, you just need to prove that you're worthy. You need to work hard, you need to develop the skill. I think it's more about what you bring to the table. I think it's all about the attitude, the skill, and just who are you as a person? I think the gender doesn't really matter. Who's my favorite woman? That's a tough one. I have a lot of favorite women. Favorite in what way? Cliche, my mom. My mom? Yeah, I would say my mom. Yeah, she's a strong woman. I think it's my mom. My mom's a hard ass and yeah, it's kind of where I get a lot of my hard ass attitude from. Like it's my mom and everything, but Jennifer Aniston, always. That's an interesting question, because I don't like to pick favorites. Mm. Michelle Obama. She made Barack Obama's job look easy. <laughs> She's president of the United States. <laughs> there are women who inspire me, and you don't know about them because, well, they just, they're just in my life. Oh, my favorite woman is my mother, for a fact. And my second favorite woman is my sister. And then my third favorite woman I haven't met yet. Oh, actually, I do have favorites. I love Kelly Rowland because Kelly Rowland is by far the best of all the Destiny's children. <laughs> I just love how genuine she comes across um, and followed everything that she has done in general. She comes from very humble beginnings and she still manages to yeah, do what it is that she loves to do, perform and still stand her own lane. It's always said that uh, the victors are who get to write history. And I think up until now, it's very clear that the victors have been male. And I think as we move forward, Hopefully the victors will be women. Hopefully we'll get more of a female perspective on history and that the women that are doing amazing things today are not only remembered, but the women who did amazing things in the past are brought back to life through stories and recognition.